There's a North Texas family that could lose their home to foreclosure, and they say it's all because of a nightmare renter who won't pay and won't leave. Andrea Lucia, live for us in Rowlett. And Andrea, I mean, this is bizarre, but I'm intrigued. We know the I team has been following this story for quite some time now. Yeah, you know, the homeowners say they thought they knew who was moving in here. But when the checks started bouncing and the stories stopped adding up, they realized the woman inside is a serial squatter. Soon after buying this corner house in Rowlett last year, a job transfer forced Jessica and Colin Davis to move. It is a four-bedroom, two-bathroom house with a in-ground pool and a hot tub. I miss my house because it was awesome. They rented the home to a woman they knew as Ray's Rubel, who they met through Zillow. They verified her. Her records came out clean. The deposit and first month's rent payment showed as pending, but then... Three days later, insufficient funds. As checks kept bouncing, Davis tried looking up Ray's Rubel online. The only name that I can come up with this is a 72-year-old individual. That 72-year-old she found did have a relative with a name she'd seen before, Heather Schwab. It was on the messages Davis initially received through Zillow. Her renter denied being her. She goes, oh no, that's just my friend's name. And I got like a sinking gut feeling. But searching the name online, Davis discovered this. I'm going to introduce you to Heather and William Schwab. Court records show that they've been getting evicted since 2005. I like to call them serial squatters. What are you talking about? Well, the, you and your husband, you don't pay rent and you keep going into more expensive okay, homes I when know. you owe thousands of dollars in back no. rent. We started looking into Heather Schwab and her husband, William, back in 2017 after several homeowners said the couple was exploiting the eviction process to live rent free. These people are chronically just victimizing and no one's holding them accountable. I'm going to lose my house. That's the first thing. I'm losing my house. Yeah, Davis says if they're not making any rental income, they can't afford both the mortgage on this house and their own rent on the apartment they have in Florida. So they're getting rid of that apartment, their current home, uh, all in hopes of being able to pay the mortgage and not have this house lost to foreclosure. And what a wild story. Thank you for doing that digging. We look forward to seeing more on this. And